Hi, I'm Dr. Privatera, and I'm going to talk to you today about clotting and heart disease. Or maybe it's blood disease, which is, we'll explain. If someone has chest pain, what can happen is they go to the doctor and go and get EKG, blood work, and they have an EKG stress test, maybe an echocardiogram. Well, if this all comes back negative and they have chest pain, pain, still have chest pain, they can be released and told that they have arthritis. This is what happened to a doctor friend of mine named Bob Barton. He's on the back of my book, Silent Clots, Life's Biggest Killer. So what happened, he came to me, he was interested in holistic medicine, and he said, I have this chest pain, but I, but I know it's costochondritis, where the ribs go into the sternum, it's arthritis. And they told me um, it, it had to be that because they did it, when I had chest pain, they did an EKG and they did an echocardiogram and they did stress tests and they did all the heart tests they could think of, including blood work, and that's all they could find. So I looked at his blood under dark field microscopy and I saw a big clot. And so he had, I gave him some fish oil and magnesium. His, his pain went away in 15 minutes and his clot went away. And I said, no, Bob, what you got is angina. So he found out the importance of dark field microscopy because the heart tests do not detect excess clotting. So and another corollary is 50% of people who have heart attacks have a normal cholesterol. So cholesterol doesn't necessarily cause heart disease. So it's very important that the doctor check for clotting and it isn't even heart disease. What Bob Barton, this doctor had was he didn't have heart disease, he had blood disease because as soon as we broke up his clots his pain went away. So this is unfortunately mislabeled as heart disease when it all is is blood disease or a blood condition really. So Americans have too much clotting. What do I mean? We, we did a test with what's called highly sensitive C-reactive protein. We found that one out of three people after looking at a hundred charts have excess clotting. We found over a 95 percent correlation with highly sensitive C-reactive protein. So really, what people, one out of three people, are having excess clotting randomly. Now this is a, a hundred of our random charts. Granted, it's not perfect trial because there are people who came to the doctor. The people who came to the doctor for any condition, we just took one out every third chart in our in our files. So this is as close to random as possible. So I suspect there's a lot of clotting out there. This is what we see. Granted, it's in a doctor's office where people may be a little more nervous, but still, and we were quite amazed at how many people had excess clotting, which was verified, like I say, with doing a standard test for inflammation called highly sensitive C-reactive protein. So what's the answer? Well, well, the answer is people, the problem is people are doing too many things to stimulate clotting. What are those things? The primary thing is sugar. Sugar makes platelets stick together causing clots. Uh, another big one would be caffeine. Another big one is stress which increases adrenaline which makes people, uh, makes the platelets stick together causing clots. So these are some of the major ones. Alcohol is another one. As a matter of fact, smog is another one. That was recently shown. The relationship with smog and, and clots was just recently reported. So uh, people need to... Now there's many ways to thin the blood. Okay, they can use fish oils, which is the, the material that is most studied, has the most studies throughout the world. Another one, of course, is natokinase, which is from natto, which is another powerful blood thinner. That's a Japanese from fermented soy. 
Another one is bromelain, which is from pineapple. That would be more a Hawaiian one. Uh, a more oriental, oriental ones would be ginkgo, ginger, and ginseng. Those are all beautiful blood thinners. Uh, French have grapeseed extracts. The Indians have turmeric. And uh, so there are, there are many choices. Magnesium and B6 are also blood thinners. So there's a lot of choices. And, it, and relatively inexpensive choices at that. So don't stress out too much, stay calm, and you won't clot. Thank you.